Welcome back to the Stat Show, and of course, there is only one thing we can talk about today, and that is our new manager, Gary Rowett. After Birmingham sacked Rowett, he was out of a job for about three months until he was employed by Derby. Since being employed, Rowett has had great success getting Derby into the playoffs and was unlucky to not finish higher, as no sides aside from the promoted Wolves and Cardiff have spent longer in the top two this season. This is the championship table with last year's promoted size removed and it displays just how well Rowett has done at Derby. Only Fulham and Wolves have scored more goals than the Rams since Rowett was appointed and irrelevant of the result of the playoff final, come the first game of next season, only one side will have gained more points than Rowett in this period of time. Rowett is renowned for being tactically flexible and has displayed this at Derby. When first taking over, he opted for a traditional 4-3-3 formation. As you can see, he didn't have overwhelming success with this formation, having quite a leaky defence and not being able to find the back of the net enough. Towards the end of the current season, Rowett switched to a three-at-the-back system as it looked as if Derby were going to slip out of the playoff places. The system was successful in ensuring the Rams made the playoffs, but came unstuck against Fulham in the playoffs themselves, potentially down to the significant loss of wing-back Marcus Olsen. But for the majority of his time at Derby, as well as his time at Birmingham, Rout has opted for a 4-2-3-1, with a target man as the lone striker, a pacey attacking midfield three, defensive midfield two, in front of an ordinary back four. This formation is clearly Rowett's most successful, gaining more points per match than the other two shapes. It is also the most defensively solid and will likely be the system we see Rowett adopt at Stoke. The attacking midfield three, or two wingers and a second striker, appear to be key to Rowett's system, with the majority of goals and assists coming from this area. This reflects Rowett's overall attacking plan, which is all about quick transitions. Whether the side is sat deep or pushing high, Rowett wants his sides to transition quickly once they've won the ball, exploiting the spaces left by the opposition. Accordingly then, the goals and assists come from the attacking trio scampering forward, supported by a lone target man. Rowett's use of Jerome and Nugent as target men seems to be the safety belt on this formation. A safety plan if the transition fails, so it'll be interesting to see if he adopts this same plan at Stoke. Matej Vidra, utilised behind the striker in the number 10 role, although he is far from an orthodox number 10, is the top scorer in the championship this season, and this could be due to Rowett's assistant, Kevin Phillips. The ex-Sunderland frontman has discussed how he cannot coach a poacher's instinct into players, but can work on their movement and shot placement, and the work he's done at Derby stands out. Derby have the second best conversion rate in the championship, scoring more than the average one goal from every ten shots. They also have the best conversion rate of shots in the box, excluding those taken in the six-yard box. Finally, their conversion rate for shots on target shows that they score more than one in three shots on target. This clinical finishing is likely down to Phillips and could explain the significant overperformance of the Rams, who outscored their expected goals for the season by 10.19. And Derby's stats stand in stark contrast to Stokes. The Potters have been awful at putting away chances this season, and the problem is much wider than the glaring errors of Mame Juf in the run into the end of the season. But with Phillips expected to follow Rowett down the A50, it will be hoped that we will see our attackers putting goals away more frequently next season. That's it for this stat show. If you've enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Let us know what you think of Rowett in the comments and subscribe to the Bear Pit TV.